Howdy and welcome to another video edition of Remedy Land. Today I want to talk to you about pacemaker battery replacement. When we are talking about a pacemaker, actually I are referring to pacing system, a pacemaker, pacing electrodes, and program. Two parts of this system are implanted in the body, pacemaker and electrodes. A pacemaker is a small metal casing composed of electronic circuits and batteries. The pacemaker sends an electrical impulse to the heart at precise time. Pacing electrode is insulated wire that carries electrical impulses from the pacemaker to the heart to cause cardiac contraction. The third part of the pacing system, the programmer is usually located in the hospital or clinic. A nurse or doctors use this specific computer to control the work of a pacemaker and if necessary to adjust the parameters of the pacemaker. A pacemaker is a source of energy in pacing system. It also contains in himself the electronics which decides when to stimulate the heart. Inside titanium casing a pacemaker a battery an electronic circuit. Pacemaker battery provides electrical energy required for the stimulation of the heart. Small, lithium battery usually lasts for several years. When the pacemaker battery is depleted, it is necessary to do a pacemaker battery replacement. An electrical circuit is like a small computer inside the pacemaker. It converts the energy from the pacemaker battery into electrical impulses that the patient does not feel because they are completely painless. An electrical circuit decides when and with which energy will stimulate the heart. A connect block is a transparent plastic which is located on top of the metal casing of a pacemaker. A connector block is the place where the pacing electrode is connected to a pacemaker. Pacemaker battery replacement procedure. When the pacemaker signal that the pacemaker battery is weak, you need to schedule visits to the cardiologist to schedule a pacemaker battery replacement. The pacemaker battery will not immediately stop working after signaling. One day before the pacemaker battery replacement procedure do not eat or drink any fluids. Replacing the battery of pacemaker usually goes through the old scar on the chest from the implementation of a pacemaker. When the time comes for the pacemaker battery replacement, the old pacemaker is replaced with a new one, and not just the pacemaker battery. Take out the old pacemaker and in its place put a new pacemaker if that place did not create problems for the patient. The procedure for replacing the pacemaker battery takes about 30-45 minutes. After changing the pacemaker battery, should be limited hand movements for a few days. The pacemaker battery replacement is a painless procedure. During pacemaker battery replacement procedure the patient will determine if he wants to go under local or full anesthesia. If a patient chooses a local, his recovery after pacemaker battery replacement is much faster. After the pacemaker battery replacement procedure, after the pacemaker battery replacement procedure, you must have an escort to the house, because during surgery anesthesia is used, if you do not have an escort. Pacemaker battery replacement procedure will be delayed. After the pacemaker battery replacement procedure you will receive a temporary identification card for your pacemaker. Recovery after a pacemaker replacement battery usually lasts a few days. Currently is ongoing research for the battery for a pacemaker, which would receive energy from the heart and it would be a permanent solution. The new pacemaker battery power will be 10 microwatts which is quite enough for the safe operation of pacemakers. Pacemaker batteries will be powered by a heart rate in the range of 7700 beats per minute. This range is more than adequate for safe operation. I hope you've enjoyed this video edition. We'll see you again on another video edition of Remedy Land. Take care.